well hello dolls and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a two bun tutorial so i'm going to first show you a bun that is more simple and then one that's a little bit more elegant and sophisticated so if you're interested let's get started I'm starting off with freshly blown out hair. As you can see, it's very fluffy and full. So I'm just gonna take my hair bow down and then I'm gonna go ahead and detangle lightly. Now I'm taking my boar bristle brush and I'm just going to slick the perimeter of my hair down. Um, to be honest, you can use a little bit of edge control, but I was doing this bun for the purposes of the tutorial. Had I gone out, I would definitely slick it down with a little bit of edge control or some type of pomade to get it even more sleek. Um, but you can definitely do that if you are going to wear this style out. And from here, I'm just going to secure the ponytail and then move on to tucking the bun under and over. And then I'm just going to um, bobby pin the back ends of this hair down to the back of the bun. I'm also going to use a little bit of Sebastian Shaper hairspray. I'm going to spray it on my boar bristle brush just to give my hair a little bit more hold. Like I said, a little bit of pomade would do it. Also some edge control if you're going out. But for a softer hold, I use the Sebastian Shaper just to give me that soft brushable feel without the extra security. And just like that, you're done. Super quick, easy style, less than five minutes. And we're on to the next bun, which is what you guys have been waiting for. I've been getting so many questions about this style. And here it is, you guys. So this is the more elegant. If you're going to a holiday party, if you're going to an office party, anytime, um, anywhere you can wear this style, I absolutely love it. So what I'm doing is doing a side part in the front of my head and then angling my part down and over to the opposite side of my head. You don't have to make your part perfect. It's not one of those perfected part styles. All I'm doing is adding a part for a guideline to where I want my braid to lay. Cause for the most part, your part is gonna be disguised anyways. Once I section off that front piece of my hair, I'm just gonna lightly detangle and then I'm gonna start my cornrow. Now keep in mind, I am not a professional. I do not know how to cornrow professionally. All I know how to do is my hair and that's it. And even that is kind of iffy. So <laughs> just do the best that you can. You can opt for a flat twist in the front. I think that would look absolutely beautiful. However, for this tutorial, I am going to go for the cornrow in the front. So once you braided that hair down, I'm just going to go ahead and separate each little piece of that braid and I'm just going to go from down all the way up and then going back down to add a little bit more fullness and once you've separated that braid your hair should look almost like a halo or a crown it's absolutely beautiful i love it now we're going to go ahead and slick our bun we are going to use the carry care edge tamer i love this stuff you guys know i rave about this edge tamer all the time it's one of my favorites next to the cream of nature argan oil one i absolutely love both of those this one does leave a very shiny film so if you don't want a high shine for your edges then i would opt for the um, cream of nature one but i love this because it slicks my hair and it keeps my hair slick all day long so once i've placed that around the perimeters of my head i'm gonna go ahead and slick my hair down using my boar bristle brush and then i'm gonna place a high 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 pony to the top of my head 
And for the ladies wondering what I'm using to secure my hair, it's called an Invisibobble. You can get them from Sephora.com. However, I received mine from free from a place that I shop. So, um, yeah, it was the only thing that I can find in my beauty drawer. So, guess what? That's what we gonna use. And once you've placed your hair up in a high pony, we're gonna go ahead and secure that bun. So just like that first bun that we did, we're just gonna take our hair and fold it over. Once we settle that bun <laughs> where it's supposed to be, we're gonna flip our hair over and flip it underneath, um, tucking all those ends towards the back of that bun. Then we're gonna take a couple bobby pins and just secure it in place. Once you've secured your bun, we're just gonna go in and fluff as much as we want to, or you can take more pins and tuck as much as you want to. The bun is completely yours. You can do whatever you want to it, but you guys know I love a full fluffy bun. For the last step, we're just gonna secure that end of the braid by tucking it under the braid and then taking one bobby pin and securing it down so that way it does not fall out. We want to make sure it's as secure as possible and from there you just fluff your hair, slick your edges down. I'm using this cute brush that I got from CVS or Walgreens and it's super cute, super cute edge tamer and it is a boar bristled edge tamer which is really nice. So I'm just going to take a little bit more edge control and a little bit of firewall from AG which is one of my favorite smoothing um, sprays ever love it and i'm just gonna add that for some shine and to slick the hair down even more and girlfriend you got you a nice cute bun hopefully you found this video helpful and very very informative this style is so easy both of those bun styles are very easy quick styles if you can't find anything to do once you've blown your hair out here you go super easy sophisticated style for the office for a holiday party anywhere you want to go all you have to do is own it so thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much and until next time i see you gorgeous bye